Hey guys, I'm here today with a quick tag video. This is the Elementals book tag and it's one of those fun tags where you get to judge your books by their covers. The tag was originally created by Miss B Books and I was tagged by Pages to Write, both those links down below. And the tag is just a little scav hunt through your bookshelves to find books with certain things on the cover. And as I'm sure you can guess by the name, those things on the covers have to match up with the four elements. I feel like booktube in general tends to bring up the same books over and over again and while I tend to avoid those books, I know I have my favourite books that I've mentioned in a ton of videos. So today I've made an effort to pick books that I have never mentioned before because I think a bit of variety never hurt anyone. The first part of the tag is to find a book with water on it and I found Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. I had a ton of books with actual pictures of water on them but I just love the line work on this cover. I think it's gorgeous. And surprisingly because I love the cover this book is by Vintage. The books might be kind of crappy quality but they have the best cover art hands down. The second question is to find a book with blue on it to go along with water so I found Wonder by RJ Palacio. I just adore this colour blue and I read this book at the start of the year and really enjoyed it. I think it was overhyped a little bit but I think it has a very important message that a lot of people including a lot of adults could benefit from reading. The third question is to find a book with fire on it so I picked Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire which somehow I haven't shown a video before. What? Plus double banger, fire and fire. Yes. This poor copy is so beaten up from when I took it to school too many times. The spine is coming off and is kind of sticky taped on. The poor thing. This is by far in the worst condition out of any of my Harry Potter books, which I don't really understand. It's not even my favourite one. So yes, a very poor beaten up book with two different versions of fire on the cover. And to go along with fire, the fourth question is to find a book with red on the cover. So I picked one with a red background. This is Nerd Do Well, which is Simon Pegg's autobiography. I just love Simon Pegg, especially when he's paired with Nick Frost and Edgar Wright. I think he's just hilarious and this book was really adorable. There's a lot of Star Wars related anger in this book, which will probably not surprise you if you watch Spaced. Question number five is find a book with something Earth related on it and I picked Holes by Louis Sacker. I haven't read this one but I can make a pretty good guess that this red stuff down the bottom is meant to be dirt. Embarrassing if it's not. And to go with Earth, the sixth question is to find something with grain on it. I could cheat and go with Small Steps by Louis Saka, but I think I'm going to branch out and I'm going to pick Son of a Witch by Gregory Maguire, which is the sequel to Wicked. I have not read this book in years. I remember really enjoying it. Um, probably not as much as Wicked, but it was just as weird and confusing as Wicked was. So I guess that's a plus. Probably. These are very, very weird books, but they are enjoyable once you get past the freaky stuff. Question number seven is to find a book with air on it and I found The Tower of Pooh by Benjamin Hoff. Bought this one a couple of years ago and haven't read it yet but it essentially is linking Winnie the Pooh with Taoism which is just so bizarre. It has to be good right? On the cover here Winnie the Pooh is very obviously being flown away by this kite so there's your air. Question number eight is to find a book with white on the cover. A lot of my books have white on the cover so I picked one where white was a prominent part of the design. So I found The Messenger by Marcus Zusak. As much as I love Zusak's other works I haven't read this one yet and I'm not totally sure why I haven't just jumped into it. I think maybe I'm saving it for when I need it. And to tie those four elements together the ninth question is to find a book with red, white, green and blue on the cover. I feel like this book cover was made for this question. It's Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford. Very obviously a white background, red post box, green lettering and the blue sky up here. The whole book is designed as if it's a colour by numbers all the way onto the back with a little guide up the top here for what the numbers mean and I love this book cover. So that was the quick tag filmed in the five minutes before my sun sets outside my window. Um, I haven't thought about who I'm going to tag so if I do tag some people I'll annotate it somewhere on the screen and leave their links down below. Thank you so much for watching guys and have a great day. <laughs> Bye.